Hey guys, Bane Zing YT here, and welcome back to part 22 of Let's Play The Sims 2 Pleasant View. Very excited to jump into this part. We are going to be sort of dealing with the fallout of what happened with uh, Mortimer's death. So basically we're going to be playing in a few households this part, I think. Um, we're going to be sort of maybe starting off just in the goth household. Um, and then I think we might jump over and play a little bit in Cassandra and Don's household, sort of deal with the fallout from their perspective. And then I also want to go and play a little bit in Nina's household as well, just to sort of deal with how she's going to support her sister during this time and sort of how that goes down. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited to jump in. Um, if you guys haven't checked it out already, I actually did a renovation of this house in a separate video. I'll put the card up in the description. It was a two part video. I know it's kind of annoying doing a two part video, but like it was just, it was very long renovation. It was a very long renovation. So, and like, I just, I don't know. I haven't really got to the point where I'm editing my videos yet. So I kind of just tried to cut out a bit when I was filming and anyway, but I'm very happy with how the renovation turned out. So we renovated Goth Manor. Oh, sorry. That was a little tiny bit laggy there. Um, we renovated Goth Manor. It looks kind of weird at the moment because it's winter, but Basically, it's like Dina's inherited all this money now. She's gone through and she's like, you know what? I'm going to renovate Goth Manor and I want to make it really like, you know, regal and like royal and like classy and like that sort of stuff. She's not going to completely modernize it. I think she definitely wants to seem like old money kind of vibes. But yeah, so she did quite a substantial renovation. Um, so we did a nice little, you know, swap of the kitchen and dining area. Got a nice little lounge area here. The backyard I really like as well. Um, and then if we go up the next level, Dean's got a nice new master suite. Alexander's room kind of stayed the same. I feel like he didn't really want them to touch the room at all. Um, he's now sharing this bathroom with Christian. Christian's got a brand new nursery. And then up on the top here, we've got a nice little attic, which is actually filled with a few items from the goth um, original house. So we put Mortimer's like original um, chest of drawers up here. These are the bookshelves from the original lounge room, the original stereo, all the original artwork. We sort of moved up into the attic. So I just thought that was a fun little, fun little thing. Um, and then we've got a nice little gym area for Dina, which I thought was a little bit of fun. And I really like that. And then we've got a nice little sort of, it's kind of paying homage to like back in the old Caliente sisters house where they had these really cool, like sun lounges on the, on the top deck. Um, and you know, it's very like, you know, sun deck kind of vibes, like the same with like Don, Don's house and obviously the Caliente sister's house, but she got a nice little speeds to car for herself, which is fun. So she's going to go get an alarm for that. Um, but yeah, basically we're picking up right where we left off in the previous part. So we just had Mortimer's funeral. So I just thought we'll play through the night, get them back in. Oh, let's maybe not put our, our kid in the snow. Um, yeah, probably. A, oh, you gotta go to work. Oh, okay. All right. Go to work then. No worries. You're in a really bad mood, but you can go to work. I feel like she's going to continue keeping her career because she wants to be someone who's like self-sustainable, you know, and like, oh, she's not going in the, that car anyway, but um, she wants to be someone who's like self-made, even though she's like, not really, because like she just married into the money, but I don't know. She's definitely not going to like get complacent and be like, you know what? I'm just going to quit my job. Like she's not, not really going to be like that. But anyway, so Christian, he's just kind of aged up from memory. We need to get him to do some skills. We could definitely get the little elixir of, not elixir of life what's it called um this thing the smart milk that could be actually coming in quite handy so maybe we'll go and get him some smart milk very exciting alexander's definitely uneasy about what's happened obviously his father's passed away which is obviously really devastating and then now he's got this stepmom who just kind of only just kind of came up in his life um she's now taken over the house the house is all different Goth Manor doesn't feel like the same, you know, place anymore. Um, Cassandra's obviously not happy with Dina at all about what happened. Alexander's obviously missed out on receiving his, you know, inherited money because it all went to Dina. So, yeah, Cassandra's not happy either. So Alexander's feeling super uneven, uh, uneasy about what's going on right now. And I think he really doesn't want to be here. But I think he's staying here because he's like, well, my little brother, I don't want to leave my little brother here. Like, I want to don't want to miss out on him growing up. So I think that's where he's at at the moment, but he's still conflicted. So I'm sure how that'll sort of play out. Anyway, how's Rue doing? Is she liking the new house? All right, let's go and take him to the potty. All right, potty train. Where's the, where is, oh, here it is. I don't know why I put it in this corner. Lol. Potty train, Christian. Cassandra's not happy at all. They had a bit of a beef, bit of beef in the last part there. They got, had a bit of a fight and became enemies. So yeah, it's definitely all very fresh. Oh yeah got to wash off the stank of loser because you, you lost the fight. No, I'm joking. All right. Anyway, Christian's doing a little go piss girl. Love that for him. 
Well, yay, taught him how to go potty. That's awesome. Let's lock in learning to walk. He needs some fun, but we'll just try and teach him how to talk. I don't know if that's fun. I guess not. Oh, that's really loud. I don't know why that's so loud. What's wrong with my settings? No, I don't know what happened there. But yeah, anyway, I'm very keen for this part. It's going to be a little bit dramatic, but um, it's exciting. I love... It's a different type of gameplay. I feel like I'm always trying to, you know, just be really, like, you know, grindy gameplay. Just keep it all, like, light and happy. But, like, you know, this is what I like about this Let's Play. It's something a bit different. All right, anyway, he's going off talking to Christian. Yay! I love this Smart Milk. It literally makes it so easy to, like, freaking, like slay and get all these um all these skills learned so quickly and i find it funny as well that alexander is going to be the one to teach everything to christian as well so they're going to have a good relationship these two um which is interesting all right let's teach christian to walk very exciting slay Alrighty, learning how to walk oh you're getting a bit sleepy fair enough it's been a big day we'll pop you in the crib and then we'll get you to head off to bed. We might get Cassandra to head off. I think she just doesn't really feel like leaving her brother, you know? She wants to make sure everything's all right, but I don't think she wants to be here when Dina gets back, so. All right, anyway, we're gonna go to sleep. I'll rejoin when Dina gets home from work. I'll be back soon. It's kind of annoying for Alexander because obviously Dina's at work. Um, I feel like she doesn't really care about Christian in that sense. She's just been like, you know what? Like, you know, I'm off to work. Alexander, you can look after Christian is not really fair on him. He's got school today, but he's going to keep going, teaching him some skills. I feel like he has no time to waste. He wants another, like, I think he's, I think he thinks that he's really going to be really similar because they're related and he's going to be like, oh, another brainiac in the family. we got to like, you know, get the skills going early so that he can develop. And I don't know. All right, Dean is back now. Yeah, she got promoted. Dean has been promoted to a bank robber level six. Instead of just driving the money away, now you're inside the SimCity First National Bank, where it does go down, which cuts you in for a bigger slice. But you'd like to try your hand at some sneakier, more challenging crimes. Better brains, brawns, and buddies will move you up. Amazing. All right, let's get you to go have a shower and head to bed because you're a little bit tired. You know, husband's funeral, son's birthday, graveyard shift. Not good. She's working 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. now, so... Actually, yeah, she's got to work tonight, so let's make sure she gets a nice little good sleep going. Yay, Alexander's learnt... Oh, sorry, Christian has learnt everything from Alexander, which is awesome. So we need to get you ready for school now, which is not really that fun, not really that great timing. But do you have some time off at all? Yeah, she's got some vacation days. We might take a vacation day today. Um, and then, yeah, I think she's also going to potentially invite over Don. Or we might go to Don and, like, invite over Cassandra. That I don't know. Not Cassandra. Dina. Because, yeah, I want Dina and Don to have a bit of a debriefing. Basically, figure out what's been going on. Update each other on all the goss. So, very exciting. All right. Oh, Alexander does not have time for that. Let's go. Oh, I don't know. Did he just... Sorry, did he just try and go around to get to there? Is that statue, like, in the way? Oh, I don't know what I've done. I think that... I don't know. That was really weird. I will keep an eye on that. Anyway, Dean is having a bit of a snooze. Oh, Christian, what are you doing? Oh, he needs to go piss girl. Go use the toilet. Is free will off or something? Like what is, I don't know why free will is off. I don't know, I must've turned it off at some point. Anyway. Wait, didn't I tell you to go pee? Yeah, go use the toilet. All right, you need to come and play with this kid because he's not, he's not having his fun so low he can't even play like the xylophone or something, so. Was that fun going and playing with the cat? No, yes. Can we go and snuggle, toss in the air, tickle, all that fun stuff? Here's fun up, please. And then play peekaboo. That could be fun. Exciting. All right, yeah, she's definitely gonna take the day off today. Spend some time with her son. Very cute. All right, and then he's getting a bit sleepy, so we might get him into sleep now. Go to bed. All right, perfect. And then you can go to bed as well. How's Rue doing? She got food. Oh, apparently she doesn't have any food. Um, let's go and fill up Rue's food bowl before she RIPs. Um, I don't need any more death in this family. I know Rue's hungry. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize she had no food. I'm really sorry. All right, Rue, you having some food now, Dal? Good. All right, Alexander's very exhausted. He's going to head home and head straight to bed, which I do not blame him. All right, I'll rejoin in a sec. I actually think we might even jump over to Don and Cassandra's house now. So we've got them in a little bit of a better spot. So we kind of wrapped up right at the end of the funeral. 
um, in the last part. So it's given them a sort of day just to sort of do their own thing. Dina went and got it promoted, which was nice. She's got a lot of school building to do, but she's also got a lot of vacation days. I think she's conscious of the fact that, you know, she has a kid, even though she has just been palming him off to Alexander. But, um, yeah, Alexander's kind of exhausted. Thank God he doesn't have, like, an after-school job or anything, which is nice. So we love that. But well, it's good to see Christian sort of grow up um, and he's sort of got, you know, all his skills done, which is good. Alexander taught him everything he needs to know, which is great. But, yeah, so we'll rejoin with the Goth family soon. But I'm going to jump over and play in Don and Cassandra's house. I'll be right back. I actually changed my mind. I thought we might jump over and play in Nina's household instead. Sorry to keep changing it up. But um, I basically want to have Nina sort of try and reach out to her sister um, and sort of be like, hey, like, how are you doing? Like, obviously, your husband passing away is not fun. Obviously, her original, her first husband, um, Michael Batchelor, passed away. So this is her second husband that's passed away. She's been widowed twice, which is not fun at all. So I definitely think she's, Dina's, like, Nina's got a good heart. I think she definitely is going to call her up and be like, hey, do you want to, like, come over, have dinner or something, and just sort of figure out, how Dean is going, but I don't know. I just don't think Dina has that same respect for her sister, which is a bit disappointing. So we'll see how that goes. So I definitely think now that it's morning time, she's going to try and call up her sister. Actually, let's tidy up our house a little bit. We left it a little bit. How are you going? Dina's, sorry, Nina's definitely struggling with money at the moment, which is hard. Like she's obviously originally living here with her sister. Neither of them had jobs, but I mean, now Nina's got to sort of support herself she's doing really well like she's a level eight in her dancing career but yes yeah, she's definitely made some big changes to the house which has obviously costed quite a lot of money um and yeah she doesn't have that support of her sister unfortunately anymore um financially and i guess you know emotionally but time will sort of tell how we go i reckon nina's gonna nina's gonna thrive i'm very i have good faith in her so i might call up dina and just sort of be like hey how you going because they don't really have the best relationship they literally like barely speak now which is really sad. So I think that it's time that they catch up and sort of see how she's feeling. And I think Nina's heart's definitely in the right place with everything as well. All right, well, we've got enough relationship to invite her over. We might sort of invite her over and see how she's going. Nice. Very cute. Sure, your friend can come as well. Exciting. All right, I don't know if she works today. No, she's got the day off, so this is perfect. So we can have a little day with our sister. All right, I don't know. You bought a random person, but I don't. I thought you might bring someone more relevant. All right, Dina's here. So let's go have a chat with her and be like, how are you going? Like, obviously, with Mortimer passing away, like, I feel really, you know, I'm thinking of you. And Dina's like, I'm fine. Like, I just redid the house. Like, it's looking so good. You know, I've just got that annoying friggin' Alexander here, which is pissing me off. But it is what it is. And Nina's going to be like, oh, well, great. Well, how's um, Christian? You know, haven't met Christian yet. I'd love to sort of get to know him and get a relationship going with my nephew and she's like yeah you'll have to come over you know we'll have a nice dinner at the goth manor you know very exciting so i do think that we might even jump back over and have dina invite over nina nina can get to know christian and everything which would be nice but yeah i think they're sort of trying to be civil but there's always been this tension between them at least in my head and, and in this in this let's play we'll say there's been a bit of tension between them um, so yeah, I think it's, oh yeah, see, a bit, bit tense, but <laughs> I definitely think Nina has always really just wanted Dina to sort of like her. And I think Dina's sort of been a little bit, you know, distant with Nina, which is a bit, you know, sad. And I think it's just because Dina's got such strong goals in her head that she wants to, you know, marry rich and be rich and have money and be status, like that sort of stuff. So yeah, very interesting. All right. Well, I think we're going to actually jump back over to Dina's house and we're going to invite over Nina for a nice little dinner. I thought that could be a little bit cute and she can meet Christian. I'll be back soon. Right, we're back over. Oh, smart investing. Love that for us. Back over in Dina's household, which is fun. We just got to get Christian some food and then we're going to invite over everyone for dinner. I think, yeah, it was Nina's night off. So hopefully, and it was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, because we're technically Tuesday at the moment in this save. In this family, I mean. Can you get a bottle for Christian? Christian, move out of the way, mate. Thank you. All right, bottle time. And then Alexander, he's got a little bit of homework to do. He's kind of fallen a bit behind. Um, so he's, don't want him to sleep too much because obviously he's got, you know, um, oh, his grades have dropped a bit. He's obviously got to try and get to sleep tonight. So anyway, Christian's had a little bit of a snacky. Let's, oh, make a, yeah, make a drink. Love that and for our guests. All right, let's call up Nina and invite her over. Nina, right over. You can bring your dog as well if you want. I don't know. 
Oh. Why didn't you want to come over? What the hell? Do I have to call you and chat with you and schmooze you for a little bit? Oh, that's really annoying. What the hell? All right, we'll just chat. Yeah, I don't know why she didn't want to come over. I just called her and then chatted to her for like five minutes and now she wants to come over. And we also became friends with her, so that's cute. Oh, Christian, sorry. We need to get him to go up to the potty. We'll just pick him up because I think I need to empty it. Unless the maid emptied it today. Old Christian. And then yeah, it still needs to be emptied. All right, go put Christian down upstairs. And then let's go. Oh, you brought a random friend? Oh, wait, no. I thought she brought a random person again. All right, anyway, let's go and have a little bit of a say hello to Nina and get ready for... Oh, sorry, that was like so laggy. I think it's just because this lot's like got a lot of stuff on it now. Go use the toilet, Christian. Alexander's just finishing up his homework, but I think he's been instructed to, you know, attend tonight's formal dinner. So he's got to go and pop on his, you know, clothes and head out. All right, let's go and greet Nina. Hello, sister. Have a drink, doll. All right, let's clean this up and let's cook some food for everyone. She doesn't have the best skill... So is she going to like make Alexander cook because he's got a better skill or no? She's got, <laughs> she's the edge. All right, we'll go and cook some hamburgers, something, something a bit easy. All right, Alexander's going to go chat. Why don't she invite, I was going to say, sh he should invite Nina in and have a little bit of a chat with her. I don't think these two have really ever had much to do with each other. Have they? Have they even met? Yeah, they haven't met yet. So this is Nina's, this is Dina's sister, Alexander. Nice. What's, what's the problem? What have, so what have I done with this house? Something's not right. Oh, it's Mortimer. Oh my God, Mortimer's here. That's crazy. All right, can you resume cooking? Hey, Morty, how you doing? Can we go and talk to him or? It's so weird that he came out, his ghost's out. Oh, poor thing. I miss Mortimer. Why is he angry? Well, I guess I'd be angry too. I mean, maybe he's found out that, you know, his death was actually not really an accident and not really from old age. And Dina had a little bit to do with it. Oh, of course you burnt the hamburgers. I hate that. All right, well, anyway, come grab some food, call to meal. Everyone, you grab some. Oh my God, have I done something wrong to... Okay, something's not quite right with these. Oh, they haven't tucked in. Okay, give me a sec. All right, there we go. All the chairs have tucked in now. So let's try that again. Oh, it's a bit scary. So I'm Mortimer. Right, well, anyway, come grab some food. Did you get to meet Christian? I missed that. I think she was up there meeting Christian, which is nice. Did you meet Nina? No? Okay, well, I'll get you to meet Nina later. Can you, like, teleport down here and we can go talk to Nina? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just using... Oh! Jesus. Ask for attention. Yeah, go go meet your, um, your auntie. So nice. Love that. All right, well, anyway, she's got some food for you guys. So do you want to, like... Oh, Mortimer, chill. Oh, see, she's upset because they deleted the bed. His bed's gone. Yeah, I'd be angry too, mate. Seriously. All right, do you want to grab some food? Call to meal. Guests. Are you hungry, Nina? No? Okay, well, anyway. It was nice of us to invite her over and she can see the new house. Maybe we've gone and given her a tour. We'll be like, oh, come have a look at, you know, I've swapped the dining room and the kitchen over. It looks so much nicer now. Do you like how I lightened it up with all the wood? Like, she's going to be all, like, a bit tosser about it. She's going to try and, like you know, spruik all her riches and be like, oh yeah, look at my nice outdoor patio that I built. Just like this nice little deck out here. Oh my God. Every time Mortimer disappears, I'm worried he's scaring someone. All right, well, anyway, I think that was a fun little, fun little family get together. Someone go and put little Christian in bed. He's so tired, poor thing. All right, and then where's Dina gone? She's just, yeah, why don't you go out and chat with your sister? Go show her around, be like, oh, did you see I got a new spa? I've got a new, you know, rock pool, all this sort of stuff. Right, friendly hug. Oh, okay. I don't know why these two don't want to be friendly. All right. Well, anyway, I think we're actually going to jump back over now and jump into a different household. I'll be back soon. The thing with Dina and Nina, I think that obviously they both are involved with Don. And I think that Nina genuinely doesn't know about any of the other relationships that Don's having, except for Cassandra. And I think that Nina is honestly going to try his, her best to like get Don to leave Cassandra. He's going to be like, look, like I, I love you, Don. Like I want us to be together. Like I think her heart really does belong to Don. Um, and obviously Dina, I think she views it more as a transactional thing. And obviously there's an attraction there. Like he's obviously, you know, a bit of a bachelor. I think that, I don't know. I just, I don't think Dina's in love with Don. I think that Dina likes him, but it's more of a transactional thing now about the whole Mortimer situation. 
But yeah, I honestly, as I said, Nina is definitely in love with him. So I want her to invite him over. Oh, he's at work. All right, we'll talk to him a bit later. For now, though, we've got a little bit of free time on our hands. Why don't we just wear our thinking cap and keep going with what we've been working on? Why does her hair go in when she wears this? It's like she must tuck it all in. That's so funny. All right, how's the dog doing? How's our little Dakota doing? Needs a bar. Um, he also needs to learn how to speak. Actually, maybe we could teach him how to speak now because he's got to go to work soon. Oh, did you just, excuse me, did we just destroy my furniture? I feel like we should give Michael's grave to um, Dina, actually. That's something that we should really do. Um, we might invite her back over and do that. Anyway, let's teach little Dakota how to speak. But yeah, I think that she's really just, like, you know, I think she's having fun with Daniel. I think that's more casual. I think it's obviously really casual with Kevin. She's just decided you know, sleeping with Kevin from her. I think it was from work. I can't remember. But yeah, I think she's in love with Dawn. Like, I think there's actually like a serious love there. And I think she really longs to sort of have them, these two become official and get together. Um, but yeah, as I said, Nina has no other idea about, you know, Kaylin. She's best friends with Kaylin. Like, she has no idea. She also has no idea about Dina, her own sister, sleeping with Dawn. So it's definitely going to be interesting if that ever comes out and how she reacts. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, for now, we're just teaching Dakota how to speak. A little bit more light, light-hearted seems fun at the moment. All right, yeah, we've got to get this done before Dakota goes off to work. So I want him to get promoted. Oh, is it a girl or a boy? Actually, don't know. Let's get it right. She's a girl. Cute. Nearly there, nearly there, come on. Yay, good on you. All right, how are we doing? Do we want to see if Don wants to come over now? A little bit later. We don't really have much food. Awkward. We might, I was going to say, we might have for dinner. It is really awkward, though, because obviously Cassandra's over there. So how about we just say, for example, this is the night that Cassandra was over fighting Dina. You know, she was over dealing with, you know, her father's death and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, that's why Don was able to come over. All right. Well, hopefully he can actually come over. Can I bring my friend, my wife? No. <laughs> no, thank you. All right, let's go use the toilet. Should we go put on like some sexy lingerie to like seduce him? Or is that kind of weird? I don't know. No, I feel like she wants to have a genuine chat with him. Oh my God, is this Don's new flame, Krista? And no, I'm joking. Just kidding. She's brought Krista over for a three-way. Oh my God, I'm joking. Come and talk to Don, please. All right, we've chatted to him. Or oh, yeah, I don't know. All right, so I think she's honestly going to ask him, like, look how things going with Cassandra. Like, obviously I heard her father just passed away. Really sad. You know, I went to see Dina recently. How's she going? Don's like, yeah, she's doing really good. You know, it's definitely been, you know, a really hard adjustment. Um, and obviously Nina knows that Dina got most of the money. So she's going to be like, yeah, like how's Cassandra feeling about, you know, Alexander missing out on his money? Like Don's going to be like, yeah, you know, she's a bit nervous. You know, she's really worried that, you know, Dina's going to, you know, do something else or, you know, I, she's not going to say, because like, I don't think that, I don't think they fully trust Nina in this sense. So they're not going to be like, oh, I'm really worried Dina's going to like steal the other half of our secret money. Because like Don and Cassandra, you know, have secretly got half of Mortimer's money. So I don't think they're going to say that. But I mean, Nina obviously has a rough idea that Cassandra's brought a bit of money with her. They've done some stuff to the house. So she's the next door neighbor um, at the end of the day. So of course she's going to know a few things that are going on. But um, yeah. And then she's going to be like, look, like, about us like I really want us to be together like I love you so much like I'm happy to you know end things with Daniel and or I should I say Daniel specifically which be like I'm happy to end things with you know the other people that I'm sort of like you know chatting to like she's not gonna say she's like sleeping with them I, th I think she'll just be like you know I'm talking to some other people like I'm happy to be exclusive with you is that something that you want to do and Don's gonna be like oh, no like I think I can't I can't leave Cassandra right now you know she's in a real fragile state um, but little does Nina know Don's actually got another whole plan with that with Dina, which is so saucy, but yeah, so he can't jeopardize this plan with Dina at the moment. Like Don wants Goth Manor just as badly as Dina does. And he wants all of that money. So his eyes on the prize as well. And yeah, I think he does. I think he really does love Nina in a sense. I think he really does think that she's sweet, kind, down to earth, caring person, like, you know, uh, hopeless romantic is the word I was trying to say. But Don's got his own little agenda and I think he's not going to let anything get in. Anyway, I think these two will just have a little bit of a cheeky woohoo, like why not, you know, may as well get you to go and ask Don to join. Very exciting, very exciting indeed. All right, Don's going to jump in. Oh, no, okay. Come on, Donnie. Donnie boy, come on. 
Very exciting. All right, they're going to have a little cheeky woohoo. Nina's definitely going to be safe, you know, not jeopardizing any, you know, unnecessary pregnancies. But yeah, so I think Nina's definitely a little bit sad that Don still just doesn't want her. And I think it definitely affects her confidence. I feel like she thinks like, well, why am I not good enough for him? Like, I don't know. I feel really sorry for Nina, but I think at the end of the day, she's just going to try and respect the fact that he's married and, you know, I don't know, but I still think she doesn't really want to end it because she does really care about him. All right. Well, anyway, I think we might actually jump over to Don's house now and deal with the fallout of Cassandra's dad's passing and I'll be back soon. All right. Here we are in Cassandra and Don's household. And I think, yeah, Cassandra's obviously really, really upset um, about her dad passing away and she's really hurting, honestly. And I think she's definitely going to invite over her brother tonight, um, Alexander, to have dinner, which is going to be awkward because, like, Alexander doesn't know that Don and Dina are together. And I think Alexander's going to be like, you know, I'm pretty upset with, you know, the fact that Dina's changed all this stuff. I don't think she really loved him. And Don's going to get pretty annoyed about hearing all of this. I also think we need to have a, a gardener. Sorry to, like, randomly just change gears there. But, like, why do we have all of... What is going on out the front of this house? Like, pull all these weeds... All right, Cassandra, she's getting ready. Our house is a little bit like, I don't know, it's kind of weird. I know we renovated it recently, but a bit, how you going? I feel like we, oh, we need some built-in wardrobes. This is before I had my little built-in wardrobe fetish, you might call it. Oh, what's wrong with Allegra? Oh my God, go and feed the cat. Why is no one's pets being fed in this like series? Let's go say goodbye to this random lady as well. All right, Don's done a bit of gardening. What a good little lad. So Don is a level seven specialist and he's got the weekend off now, which is exciting. Cassandra works through the weekend. So mm, what will Don get up to while Cassandra's away? All right, well, anyway, she's definitely, definitely going to throw a little, not party, invite over um, Alexander. And then who has the best cooking skill out of you guys? You've got three and you've got three. So we don't really have much press right now um maybe we'll get them to work on their cooking skill because this definitely comes in handy why don't can we say goodbye to this random lady has the cat been able to eat yet is she all good yeah all right don stop looking at oh my god don in that damn telescope he's freaking looking up at bella or whatever whatever's happened there we haven't really m mentioned much of bella in this let's play and like i kind of want to yeah i think she's now kind of it's kind of now hitting cassandra and alexander that they've lost both their parents like I think they still sort of have a bit of hope that Bella may return one day, but um, yeah, now that actually Mortimer's gone, they're basically just become parentless, which is, is very sad that like Mortimer's passed away. Bella's not coming back anytime soon. So I think, yeah, it's a little bit sad, but it is what it is. All right, anyway, let's get Cassandra to go wear her thinking cap. I think she's gonna try and definitely throw herself into, you know, her career. All this sort of stuff. And I think she definitely wants to start a family with Don. Like, she's really excited about that. I think she really just wants to get things going with him and start a family, start that next generation and all that sort of stuff. But I think Don's definitely going to sort of not be keen on that. But, like, whether or not he expresses that to Cassandra, I don't know. We'll have to sort of wait and see. Like, maybe he's sort of going to use a lot of excuses to avoid them woohooing, that sort of stuff. Like, I don't know. We'll have to sort of wait and see. But I definitely think that Don's sort of putting the brakes on them starting a family which is upsetting for Cassandra because I think that's what she would benefit from right now. She would really love to just sort of throw herself into um, something else, like in something to take her mind off everything. And she went from living with her dad and her brother to now living away from them. Obviously the dad's passed away. Ew, did he just pee in the shower? That's full feral. He's such a messy sim. Like you can see every time he has a friggin' shower. Yeah, see, like he gets water all on the floor. Why is it such a turn on though? Oh my God, he's like a sloppy, like, I don't know. I can change him. No, I'm kidding. All right, he's really tired. So let's get him to go to bed. Um, Allegra, what are you doing? I don't really want you on my bed, Allegra. Let's um, yeah, get rid of you. All right, Cassandra's doing a little bit of studying, which is nice. She's got two cooking skill points, which is awesome. She needs to get logic to get a promotion. So we might actually pause doing that and go and get her to work on her logic skill. But yeah, I definitely think Cassandra is kind of, thinking to herself, like, we have all this money. Like, I really just wish that we could move somewhere else. But I think Don just sort of wants to stay here for a little while because I don't think he wants to commit to moving somewhere. 
because he likes having this house as a bit of a safety net. And obviously he's got this whole other plan with Dina. So that's why I think there's a lot of things that Cassandra wants. She wants to, you know, move to a, like a nice house, a house they can make their own. Can this phone stop ringing? Like, sorry. Um, she wants to start a family, but yeah, Don's just kind of putting the brakes on it. And I think Cassandra's, I think he's almost glad that Modem has passed away now. And it's well, obviously because you can move forward with this plan, but was it gives Cassandra like a, him a reason to sort of put off doing this sort of stuff. He can be like, well, your, your dad just passed away. Maybe it's not a good time to have a baby or it's not a good time to move right now. Let's just have some stability. Like he's very manipulative and I love that for him. But anyway, and I also think they don't want to do anything too crazy right now because obviously this money, Cassandra's really nervous. Dean is going to get her hands on it. So if they go and move to a really flashy house, then Dean is going to be like, did I just say, I said that around the wrong way. Cassandra is worried Dean is going to get her hands on it. Um, and if they move to a really flashy house, like Dean is going to be like, um, how did you afford that? Like, did you get some money from Mortimer that I don't know about? Is there something I can get my claws into? So yeah, very interesting. Very interesting indeed. But um, definitely they're going to have a little bit of a chat in the morning, I think, these two. Oh, actually they can chat now. Love that. Go take your little thinking cap off, Dar. But yeah, so she's definitely going to go and talk to Don right now and be like, you know, basically talk about everything that's happened. All right. Don, can you just pay attention to your wife? Thank you. She's going to be like, I'm so upset. Like, literally, I can't even deal with... Oh, what is she doing? <laughs> Her arm is all glitched out. She's going to be like, look, my dad's passed away. And, like, literally, Alexander's got all the money. Oh, sorry. Alexander was didn't get any of his money that he's supposed to get. Dina's got it. Like, I just don't understand how this happened. Like, Dina showed me... You know, the new will, Mortimer signed it. Like, I don't understand why he didn't talk to me about this. Like, I, I just don't get it. And then, obviously, Cassandra's going to talk with um, Alexander when he comes over tomorrow night. And I think she's going to get a little bit of an insight into what Alexander thinks happens. So Alexander's definitely going to say, I think that Dean has got him to forge something because, basically, every time I've been there, you know, Dean is like, oh, can you sign this, Mortimer? And he just signs it. So I think that that's, at the moment, Cassandra's hurt. I think she's like, well, why did my dad do this? Like, why is he giving all his money to Dina and not giving anything to our brother and his son? So I think she's honestly hurt about all of this. And she's going to sort of, she definitely went out and take, took it all out on Dina. She took it all out on Dina. They had a big fight. Um, but yeah, she's definitely going to sort of realize that, oh, I hate her even more now because she's manipulated her way into getting this money. But Don's going to be like, look, like, I'm like, cause like Cassandra's talking about how she's really concerned that Dean's going to find out about this unofficial money she got from Mortimer. Basically when she moved out and got married, Mortimer gave her half of the fortune, like her inheritance early to start her life. You know, like it's kind of like a trust fund kind of vibes. I don't know. But um, yeah, Don's going to be like, Oh, well, aren't you worried that she's going to get her hands on that? Like Cassandra's going to be like, yeah, I am really concerned that she's going to get her hands on it. What can we do? Like, how do we keep this money safe? Like if, it goes to the courts or whatever, like legally, if he signed over everything to Dina, then he's entitled, she's entitled to this money, this $216,000 they've got. So Don's going to be like, oh, you know, like, why don't you, look, why don't you give me the money? Why don't you give me the money? Because that way we can just be like, look, I had all this money. This is my money. What do you mean? Cassandra didn't get anything when she moved out. This is all my money. Like I, I, I inherited some money when like, you know, my parents died or something like he can just make up something. So I think Cassandra's going to be like, yeah, look, we'll, you know, we'll do that. Like, we'll just, you know, I'll transfer it into your account. Um, you know, I'll put it all in your name. That way, if, you know, Dina does get, you know, whiff of anything, because he, I think Cassandra thinks Dina's on her trail. Even though Cassandra has not done anything wrong, by the way. But yeah, I definitely think that until the heat sort of dies off and I think Dina maybe loses interest in trying to get more money, I think that Cassandra's like, yeah, that's a really good idea. You know, we'll pop it over into your name. Um, I'll go and do that tomorrow, you know, while I'm after work, you know, I'll, I'll, in my lunch break, you know, I'll go and transfer you all the money so that, um, you've got it all. And that way when the heat dies off, you know, you can transfer it back or, you know, we're married now. We can share it. I trust you, you know, Cassandra trusts him. So yeah, bad move. But anyway, these guys are going to wind down for the evening and I'll rejoin you guys in the morning. I'll be back soon. I think Don's also really shook right now because I don't think he... He doesn't know about Kale, obviously, but, um, yeah, Nina knows about Kale. So that's very interesting. And I think that Don's in a little bit of an uneasy position right now, because if anyone finds out about Kale, a lot of, the, a lot of shit's going to blow up. So yeah, I think Don's definitely feeling a bit uneasy, but he doesn't really know it yet. If that makes sense. It'd be very interesting to see how that plays out. All right, it's the morning time now. Cassandra's going to be heading off to work pretty soon. 
Don's got the day to himself, and then obviously Cassandra's definitely going to invite over Alexander tonight. A bit of a catch up with her brother, which would be nice. But yeah, Don's are all having a bit of a dance. Love that. Let's go make the bed, you know? Love that. Let's go make that. Alrighty, and then let's go have a shower. Don's getting all, you know, ready. What for? Interesting. But Cassandra doesn't bat an eye. All right, Cassandra's ready for work now. She's just having a bit of a gamer sesh. Love that for her. <laughs> All right, oh, yes, very attracted to Don. All right, let's go head off now. All right, having some pancakes. What is this guy doing? Oh, okay, they're actually not in one full edition. They're literally dead, our plants, but whatever. All right, well, anyway, Cassandra's off at work now. So what's Don going to do? He's going to definitely invite over Dina. We're going to have a little bit of a chit-chat and update each other on what's going on with the plan. Very exciting. Sounds great. I'll be there in a few. Exciting. Alrighty, Dina's here. Very exciting. Definitely going to head on inside so no one sees us. Alright, call over. Alright, so Dina's going to update Don about everything that's been going on right now. And Don's actually got... Sorry, Dina's got some big news, honestly. Very excited. Alright, so... Obviously, Don knows that Mortimer passed away. So, how's it going now? So, you inherited all the money. You know, he signed the thing. And Dean is like, yep, got all the money. We're all good. Don't have to worry about any of that. The only thing that's sort of going wrong at the moment is Alexander. I just want him out of this house. He's just so annoying. He's just, like, asking me all these questions. Like, I just can't deal. Um, but he's like, he won't stay. Sorry, he won't go because he just wants to stay with Christian. He wants to stay with his brother, blah, blah, blah. And then Don's like, well, yeah, I get that. And this is where Dina's got something exciting to tell Don. She's like, well, look, there's no harm in me telling you now. Actually, Christian's not even Mortimer's. Christian's yours. And Don's like, what the hell? What do you mean I have a son? Like, this is so crazy. Um, and then Dina's like, look, I didn't tell you because I didn't want to jeopardize the plan. I didn't want anything to jeopardize what we had going on. I couldn't even risk you knowing that Christian is your son. So Don has a son now. He's so like shook by this. He's got a son, Christian. And he's, Dina's like, look, you need to keep this on the DL. Like we can't have, you know, Cassandra and Alexander and all that finding out just yet. I said, I'm just telling you ahead of time, but um, potentially when you, we have our little next stage of our plan, um, we can get, you know, the news out and then Alexander will be like, oh, you're not actually my brother. And maybe he'll just be content to leave. But, um, Dina's also checking in with Don right now about the money, the, the money he's got. So Dina hundred percent knows about this money. Don and Dina have been like in cahoots as we all know. So Dina's like, look, the other half of the fortune, like, is she going to transfer it into your name? And Don's like, yes, she's doing it in her lunch break. Um, as soon as she gets home, I'll confirm. Um, we've got Alexander coming over for dinner tonight. So we just have to sort of hold off, you know, one more night. And so we can put the next stage of our plan into action. Um, but yeah, so basically they've got the money, which is gonna, they're going to have the money. It's so exciting. And then Don's going to have half. Dean is going to have the other half. They're going to come together and have it all which is going to be so crazy. And it's exactly what they've always wanted. All right, these guys are going to pump in a quick woohoo. We love that for them. All right, let's go and ask Dina to join. Come on, Dina. Dina. Come on, ask Dina to join. Thank you. All right, exciting. All right. Woohoo. No, woohoo. Come on, woohoo. Wait, we've got to make sure that Cassandra doesn't come home. Make out woohoo. What time does she get home? Five. Okay, we've got a, we've got a bit of time. Exciting woohoo time. And then Don's going to be like, look, you should probably head off because we don't want you here when Cassandra's here. All right, get dressed. Exciting. Make the bed. Make sure no one knows anything. Exciting. All right, we might even do a little bit of cooking for um, the party tonight. Actually, you need to use cooking skill up, so maybe we can do that. And what are you thinking, Cap? Actually, you know what? I really don't think he cares. I think he's just going to work on his own skills at the moment to get himself promoted. All right, so I'll rejoin when Cassandra returns. We'll be back soon. Yay, Cassandra's back. She's been promoted to inventor level six. Income has climbed, but to succeed as an inventor, you'll need to put in long, hard hours at the lab. Maintaining your home relationships may be harder now. There'll be little time for socializing as you create the auto-recycling newspaper. I love this view. It just got really long, really, really long hours. 10 to seven is crazy. Um, and she works, oh, sorry. Hitting all the wrong buttons. She works um, five days a week. Oh my God. Yeah, um, crazy.
crazy. All right, anyway, let's go have a quick shower and then we'll get changed and then we'll invite over Alexander. John's just working over on his skills. All right, talk, call Sim. All right, let's call up Alexander. Exciting, invite over. Yay, all right, let's cook some dinner. We'll cook some pork chops. And then Cassandra's gonna be like, Don, we've got guests coming. Like, you know, get up, go and, go and be social. Oh, Waylon's here, love that. Isn't Waylon the guy that Dean is? Oh wait, no. Oh no, someone's sleeping with Waylon. Is it Kaylin? I don't know. Waylon, Kaylin, that sounds right. Anyway, these guys are really sus on each other. Basically, Alexander is very sus on Don because um, Lucy saw Don and Nina, saw Don and Dina together. So I think, oh, Cassandra, where's the food? Resume cooking, don't burn it. All right, anyway, it's food time. Let's all grab some food. All to meal, everyone. Oh, they're playing catch. That's cute. Love that. Anyway, so this is where it's sort of all going to get a little bit awkward. So Alexander's going to be talking a little bit about what's going on. So Cassandra's going to be like, look, how are you going, Alexander, with um, everything that's going on? How are you liking living over with Dina now that dad's gone? Like, what's sort of going on? And then this is where Alexander's going to be like, look, not really having that much fun. You know, she keeps leaving me in charge of the kid, which Don now knows is his kid. So really interesting. Um, I just don't trust her. Um, you know, she was getting dad to sign all these weird things. Like I have a feeling that, you know, she signed over. She thought like dad didn't know he was signing and he will. So I think that she's manipulated me out of all this money. I'm really upset. You know, we, we, that's our money. It's our dad's inheritance money. Like it's not okay. And then Don's going to be like, Oh, I don't know, he's just going to snap. He's just going to be like, you know, just be grateful you have somewhere to live, you know, like, blah, blah, blah. Cassandra's going to be like, calm down, Don. Like, what do you mean? Like, his dad just died. Like, calm down. And then Alexander's going to be like, look, I saw you. Oh, Lucy saw you and Dina hanging out the other day. What was all, what was all that about? And Don's going to be like, what do you mean? Like, I've never, I don't hang out with Dina. What do you mean? He's getting all angry. He's smiling. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to like make it all dramatic and they're not really playing along. But yeah, so he's stormed off. He's so angry. He's throwing some plates around. Like he's pissed off. <laughs> but um, yeah, basically Alexander's very sus on Don. And now Cassandra's a little bit confused. She's like, well, what do you mean that like you think that dad didn't actually write that? Do you think that Dina forged it? Do you have proof? And then I think gonna be like, I have no proof, but like, I just know, I saw it. Like I saw it happen. And Cassandra's like, look, I don't know what to do. And then Alexander's like, look, I'm nervous about your money. The money that dad gave you like secretly. I don't want Dean to get her hands on that. And then Cassandra's gonna be like, oh, don't worry. Like, you know, I've transferred that all into Don's name today. Actually, I went in my lunch break. You know, it's all in Don's name. Just so that if anything happens, Dina comes snooping, if she gets her lawyers involved, gets a forensic accountant in or whatever to come in and be like questioning all of Cassandra's money. Cassandra doesn't have any, it's all Dawn. So she she married Rich, love that for her. But yeah, and then Dawn's now got the confirmation that all the money is his, which is so, so exciting. But yeah, he's honestly gonna, I think he's honestly pretty annoyed at Alexander for talking badly about Dina. He's gonna be like, you know, you should be grateful she's letting you stay there. Like, you know, this all this sort of stuff. Like, he's going to kind of be a little bit rude to him, I think. I think he's honestly going to go, oh, can you not be can you not be mean to teenagers? Oh, why not? <laughs> That's kind of sad. All right, well, anyway. Yeah, that was a very interesting dinner for these guys. I think a lot of um, interesting stuff happened. I think Cassandra's feeling even more uneasy now. She's in the back of her head. She trusts Don. She's going to be like, I think she's going to go talk to him and be like, look, what's this about Dina? Like, were you having lunch with Dina? Like, why are you talking to Dina? And Don's going to be like, oh, look, you know, maybe he's thinking about, I ran into her once, you know, I, I was out buying, you know, some new clothes or whatever. I ran into her, you know, at the pool. I just said, hi, she used to be my neighbor, Cassandra. God, like, why are you being so paranoid? Like, don't you trust me? I'm your husband. Like, he's been a little bit toxic here. So yeah, Cassandra's going to be like, oh, look, of course I trust you, babe. Like, it's all good. I'm just, you know, feeling a bit paranoid at the moment with everything that's been going on. So yeah. And I think that's sort of going to be the end of that. Alrighty, well, I think Alexander's going to head on home now. So Cassandra's going to go say goodbye. Oh, but what is, why is everyone obsessed with this bathroom? Can you go say goodbye to Alexander? Oh, Alexander, goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. Uh, uh, hey, say goodbye. Say goodbye, go home. Say goodbye. What the hell? Right, I think Cassandra and Don are going to have one 
And Don's like, oh, look, we'll have one last night together. Even though Cassandra's none the wiser that tomorrow Don is basically going to... Don and Dean are going to announce everything that's been going on. And Cassandra's going to... Well, she can tell what's happening. She looks sad. One last little night together for these guys. And then, in the, you know, Cassandra's thinking about Dina. She's like, you know, hmm, do I trust my husband? Like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'm, I'm feeling really uneasy. Anyway, they're going to have one last little night together. And I'll rejoin in the morning. I'll be back soon. Alrighty, well, it's the morning time. It's actually the big day. Everything's about to go down and I cannot wait for this. So it's actually really interesting. So Cassandra works. So she works 10 to 7. I think that Don's got the day off. Yeah, he does. So he's going to basically call up Dina, tell her everything that's like, she's, she's like, I've got the money. I've got the money. And I think when Cassandra gets home from work, Dina and Don are going to be waiting for her out the front. Door's going to be locked. And then Don and Dina are going to spill everything that's happened and how Cassandra's been screwed over, manipulated. And now Don and Dina are running off together to get married with all of the goth fortune. And Cassandra has nothing. And Cassandra's going to be absolutely devastated. And I can't wait. I feel so bad for her because I love Cassandra so much. I love the entire goth family. And I'm, I'm feeling so hurt for them. But you know what? Who knows? Like, who knows what will end up happening? Maybe they'll get revenge. Who knows? Anyway, Don, can we go and get rid of all these freaking weeds? Thank you very much. Can we like, actually dispose of, like, all of these, like dead plants like don't really ooh why is there trash out here what the hell go and get rid of that please and then go and recycle very exciting and I think that Don's also aware of the fact that this might be one of his last chances to sort of fool around with Kaylin too because he's going to be moving in with Dina Dean doesn't know about Kaylin so I think he's going to potentially quickly have Kaylin come over for a quick woohoo uh, they can still sort of meet up you know, I think Don, in the back of his head, I think he's a bit nervous for what Kaylin might... Like, everyone in Pleasantview is going to know what happened, basically. Everyone's going to find out that Don and Dina are married now. And that Don and Dina have been seeing each other this whole time. So how's Kaylin going to feel about that? How's Nina going to feel about that? We'll have to deal with that fallout in the next episode. But, yeah, so I think Don's like, mm, look, I don't think Kaylin's going to be very happy with me. So before this all happens, let's have one last little rendezvous. All right, Cassandra's doing a little bit of housework before her big day at work. Not fun. All right, go use the toilet. Don's actually going to just say, I'm just going to call up a friend, you know. I'm just going to hang out with, um, you know, so-and-so. All right, just going to call up Kaylin real quick. Lucky Cassandra's going away for nine hours because, yeah, a lot's going to happen. Oh, I can't. I can't deal. I'm so excited. All right. Oh, this is broken. Don... Wouldn't that be funny if he just repaired this and died and, like, my whole plan was just ruined? All right, Kaylin, I have one last woohoo. One last hot tub woohoo, I think. The other maid's going to be like, oh, I didn't know this was an option. <laughs> no, I'm All right, woohoo time. Cuddle. Woohoo. Oh, not the cutscene. Oh, my God. Okay, do we need a cutscene right now? Scenes in this hot tub. It must be like a thing with this hot tub. Actually, I don't know if that's just my head. That's just the Cringy. Do you think the developers actually made this hot tub? Or was it just cutscenes? Or is it that they were just cutscenes in the hot tub? I've seen the movie without a cutscene before though. Maybe because Don's such a like because it's such a storyline thing. There's always a cutscene. All right, well, anyway, he's going to be like, oh, well, like, I've got to go. Like, I've got some things planned today, but, um, you know, I'll see you later. All right, he's going to get changed. And then I think he's going to invite over Dina and tell Dina everything that's been happening. Exciting. Invite over. No, no, your friend cannot come over. And I think that Rue, well, basically, they adopted... Did Cassandra adopt Rue? I can't really remember. I'm actually really struggling to remember when... Oh, Kaylin joined the family. Sorry, when was that? Oh, that was because I had to move her out. I remember now. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we, they they adopted Allegra, but it was basically Cassandra's idea. So Allegra's Cassandra's pet. So I think that Don's going to move all of Allegra's stuff out because, you know, you and your cat are moving out, unfortunately. All right, very sad. Very sad indeed. Oh, my God. I actually full cannot wait for this. This is so much drama. All right. Dina, are you here yet? Hey, Dina. Hey, Dina, girly. All right, exciting. 
I think. We need to keep Dina here like all day. So let's go have a little bit of a day with Dina. I'll go cook some food. Yeah, Cassandra's going to get home at seven. And all friggin' hell is going to break loose and I can't wait. I feel so bad for her. Why am I enjoying this so much? Have some food. And then go repair that for us. Anyway, Don's going to be like, look, Dina. Cassandra confirmed. I checked my bank accounts. I've got all the money. It's it's time for us to, you know, put the next phase of the plan in action. We've been waiting for this for so long. I can't wait. And Dina's like, oh, I don't, I don't know. I think she's excited about it, but like, do you think she feels bad for Cassandra? I really don't think either of them feel bad for Cassandra. I think they have no remorse whatsoever about the people they're hurting to get what they want. So they're going to be like, oh, imagine the look on Cassandra's face when we start making out and tell her everything. This whole entire relationship has been, you know, a lie, a facade, just to steal her money. She's going to be absolutely heartbroken and Dean is going to have a little evil laugh. Like, I don't know. I trust Dina is going to be evil and enjoy this very much. I think Don potentially feels a little bit bad, but I think at the end of the day, well, that's going to like cause problems. So let's not keep repairing that. I think he deep down feels a little bit bad, but he's kind of, kind of channel a bit of Dina at this point and be like, haha, suck, suck in Cassandra. I'm going to be rich now. I think he's just more excited about finally, you know, being rich and having all of goth manner. <sighs> I don't know. I'm so excited for these guys. All right, I'm going to skip until they get home. I'll be back soon. All right, it's getting close to the time Cassandra's going to come home. They've locked the door. Like, they're not letting her <laughs> They're not letting her in. And they're basically going to tell her that she's out on the street. Oh, my God. I added Dean to the house. Just, like, just made it selectable just for this. I'm actually, like, literally, like, getting excited and anxious. Oh, my God. She's about to come home quick. We need to, like, as soon as she drives in, we need to be, like, making out. Sandra's home. She'd be like, what is Dina doing here? Like, what's... Oh, what a good week. It's been. I hope I can keep this up. Stop it. Why is... She's like, why is Allegra stuff out here? Like, what's going on? <gasps> what do you mean Dina and Don are making out? What's going on? Don, how could you do this to me? What do you mean? And then she's literally so confused. She's going to be like, why are you kissing... Mo like, no, actually, they're going to be angry. Sorry. Irritate. She's going to be like, why are you... Making out with my husband. What is wrong with you? And she's going to be like, look, honey, like, basically, Dean is going to be like, she, he's never been your man. He's always been my man. This has been a plan from the start. Every time you go to work, I've been coming over and we've been sleeping together. We've been manipulating you from the start. Basically, oh, my God, I can't, I can't even do it. She's going to be like, and Cassandra's like, what do you mean? And Dean is going to be like, well, look, basically, it's simple. Oh my God, what is this camera doing? Stop, sorry, why is the camera like jumping up and down? Dean is literally gonna be like, basically, we've been trying to steal your money this entire time. I married your dad, basically forged his signature, got half of got half of all of Alexander's money. And Don's been married to you. Don married you and got with you purely so that he could steal your money. Now we're gonna run off together and get married. And you can suck on this. No, I'm trying Sorry. Cassandra's absolutely heartbroken right now. She's going to be like, how could you do this to me, Don? She's going to be like, oh, wait, not throw a drink. Sorry, I press the wrong thing. She's going to be like, how could you do this to me, Don? I loved you. I thought we were going to get, I thought we were going to have a baby. We got married. And you, this whole time you've been with Dina. What do you mean? Like, what do you mean? Like, I can't believe it. How? And then she's going to have that twig moment. She's going to be like, oh my God, all my money is in his name. And Don's like, look, we're running off with all... I've got, I've got your half of the money. Dina's got Alexander's half of the money. And then now we're going to be together and we've got the entire goth fortune. You guys have nothing and I'm sorry, but it is what it is. And Cassandra's going to absolutely lose her shit. She's going to attack him. She's done. She cannot believe that this has happened. She's just worked a friggin' nine hour day and she's now basically homeless. Don's like, you, you, you and your cat are gonna, we're throwing you and your cat out. We're throwing your brother out of Dina's um, goth manor and me and Dina are gonna live together in goth manor. Oh my God. And then, no, actually he's gonna say, he's gonna say to her, we're gonna live in goth manor with our son, Christian. And it's gonna just be the nail in the coffin. Quick, no, tell her, tell her quick. Go and tell Cassandra, go and tell her. Be like, you don't live here anymore. I'm throwing you out. You know, Dean is throwing out Alexander and me and Dean are going to live together in Goth Manor with our son, Christian. <gasps> and Cassandra's going to be like, what do you mean our son, Christian? 
what do you mean? He's my brother. What do you mean? He's going to, and he's going to, she's going to freaking attack Dina at this point because she cheated on her dad. Oh my God. Cassandra's life has just been ruined. I feel so bad for her. She's going to be like, you bitch, you bone digging whore. Like she's, sorry, it's excuse my language. But she's going to be like, I cannot believe you would do this. My dad loved you. I loved my husband. You, she's absolutely feeling the like biggest portrayal you could ever feel right now. Like she's honestly heartbroken. Absolutely heartbroken. She just lost a fight with both of them. <laughs> it's not funny, Peyton, sorry. Okay, all right. I want these guys to break up, but like Don's gonna move out technically. So that's gonna be interesting. But these guys are basically their relationship. They're, it's done. Like they're not married anymore. So how do I do this? Because obviously I want Cassandra and Allegra to be homeless and Alexandra to also be homeless. So I don't know how this will work. Maybe we could. And then obviously what I want to do is I also want to have someone move into this house because I want to keep the furnishing. Like I don't really, I'm just going to put a placeholder seam in here, but give me a sec. So I think the way we'll do it, like we'll have to, I'll fix stuff off camera, but he's going to break up with her basically after this. Like he, that's basically what this whole thing was. He's like, you're out. Like I'm marrying Dina. And you have nothing. I have all of your money. You're done. Can't believe it. Broke up with Cassandra. No, you don't feel bad. Oh, she feels good. At last. Well, I, I mean, she, she's heartbroken. But at last I'm rid of that loser. Now I'm free to find someone worth spending my time with. Cannot believe that this all just happened. Goodbye. Don't forget your cat. All right. So basically we need to fix all of this now. So give me a sec. Alrighty, so Cassandra's moved out with Allegra and Don is still just, he's staying the night there and then tomorrow he's going to move over to Goth Manor, which is so exciting. We might save that for the next part though. Um, and I think in the next part, we're also going to have Alexander find out all about this. He has no idea right now. So Alexander's going to call up Cassandra or Cassandra's going to call up Alexander, either one. Cassandra's going to come over. Alexander's going to tell, sorry, Cassandra's going to tell Alexander all about what happened, how Don was never in love with her, how Don and Dina have had this pact to steal the money from the start. She admitted to forging dad's signature. Um, she admitted that Christian is Don's son and that Don basically, I signed all my money over to Don and now he's run off with that and they're going to move in here and where we've been kicked out, we have nothing. So Alexander's going to quickly grab a few things, I reckon, before he leaves, going to grab a few things from Goth Manor that he can quickly just steal um, and have a little bit of money. They'll probably grab about like, you know, grab a quick statue or two or like grab a little trinket that he can sell. And then they have a little bit of money at least. I think they're going to basically be homeless at this point, which is so sad, but we'll figure that out in the next part. We'll have them move into like a little plot of land or something and just be a little bit, you know, I don't know. I kind of feel bad for them. I feel oh, kind of, I feel really bad for them actually, but obviously Cassandra is good friends with Darren dreamer. So potentially, um, Darren might, you know, they might sort of be too proud to ask at first and they'll, Darren will find out that they're living on a plot of land and it'll be like, look, come move in with me. Like, or like maybe Alexander and might move in with Lucy. Like, I'm not too sure what we'll do. I think, I think Darren Dreamer might honestly take them on board. He's such a good lad, Darren. Um, and I think he loves Cassandra so much. And I think he's going to take her in as a friend at first, help her process and grieve everything that's happened. And then who knows, they might blossom into a relationship or a romance. Very exciting. But yeah, I cannot believe that Dina and Don got their plan and it worked. And I just, oh, I cannot wait for the next part to see all of this, the whole fallout of this. And I think everyone in Pleasant View is going to hear about this as well. And they're going to be like, what the hell? Like, how does that even happen? I'm interested to see how Kaylin and Nina react to Don's betrayal, basically. So anyway, in the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you're enjoying and really leave any comments, suggestions or feedback down below for me as well. And yeah, in the next part will be the major fallout of Don and Dina's plan. I was about to say plan. I was about to say Nina, sorry. And I, anyway, sorry, I had a stroke. Don and Dina's plan coming out um, to everyone in Pleasant View and coming true and being successful. Anyway, I'll see you guys all in the next video. I hope you have a lovely day. Bye everyone.